Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. This is Flask in Visual Studio Code Tutorial Part 2. If you directly came to this tutorial, I want to tell you one thing. We have already done the Flask development environment setup for the Visual Studio Code in our tutorial part 1. So I would suggest you, su suggest you please watch that tutorial first and then you can continue with this tutorial part 2. So this will be easy for you to understand everything. So guys in the flask tutorial 1 we have created one folder which was hello underscore flask and that was opened here in the visual studio code. Now we are continuing from that place. This is the same setup which we have uh, used in our first tutorial. Now we are going to create a app then we will start the flask server after that we will run this app from the browser so we are going through these steps let's begin with the step one in the first step we need to create a file like app.py and we will save it okay now I'm here in the VS code so click here on the new file icon and just give the name like app.py and save it. Now the file is opened here in the editor. Now we need to write some code. This is our step 2. And we are going to write few lines of code. So I have these code lines of codes are ready here and I will copy and come back and I have pasted here. Soon I will find that some errors because I have done copy and paste. So I have to adjust the indentation as per uh, suggestion by the Visual Studio Code. This way I have removed the errors from the syntax error from the code. Okay, now this looks nice. Okay everything is good now come back here so we have already saved our file now we are at the step 3 now it's time to run the flask server by using terminal with the help of this command so this command is given in the description and you can get this from that place okay it's easy if your terminal is not open so you can simply open a terminal and activate your virtual environment inside your virtual environment just paste this command python hyphen m flask space run okay this way press enter once you press enter you will see a message uh, this is basically a warning and also you will see running on this ip address and the port number once you hit this command this will start the flask development server and the development server looks for the app.py file by default which we have created in the step 2 before going to the next step i want to tell you a note in case if you see any error that the flask module cannot be found then you need to run a simple command so you will run this command on your terminal python hyphen mpip install flask once the command completes you need to restart your visual studio code and your error will disappear okay in case in the problem section or uh, here on the terminal somehow you get the error then you need to run this command okay once you run this command your error will disappear and don't forget to restart your visual studio code okay so far so good now we are going for the step 4 in the step 4 this is another important thing if you want to run your server on a different IP address or port use the host and the port command line arguments with the previous command which we have used in the step 3 okay so you can specify these arguments this way hyphen hyphen host and the IP address what you want 
and the port on which you want to run your server. Now we are at the step 5, it's time to run the application from the browser, it's very easy. You have the URL here, you can simply click here to launch on the browser or you can simply copy this from here and open the Chrome browser and paste this address in the address bar. Okay, here we go and just press enter. And you will see the message hello flask. So our application is handling that request and sending the hello flask message back. So you can see the line number six in the code file where we have returning the um, message. Now guys, we are at the step six. In case you want to stop the server, it's simple. You have to simply press the control plus C from your keyboard which also given here so this is the thing control plus c so you can quit the server and again you want to start you have to simply follow the same process python hyphen m flask run and you can again run the development server so guys, this is the way you can create and run the demo Flask app in Visual Studio Code. I hope you guys understood the complete process of creating and running a demo Flask app in Visual Studio Code. If you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button. Also, you can subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.